starts in a high school in Korea where the English class is being conducted. Although the teacher, Mr. Kim, is very strict and wants everyone to speak only in English, no one listens to him. Enraged by the student's reckless behavior, Mr. Kim picks on the dullest student in the class, Jung Ho, and asks him to recite some sentences in English. However, Jung Ho can't speak a word apart from hello and thank you. This makes him the laughing stock of the class, and everyone mocks him for being dumb. It turns out that this is a regular scenario, and all the students are fond of bullying Jung Ho. They call him heavy-headed, as nothing can enter his brain, not even education. While Jung Ho is hated and despised by everyone, he has a best friend named Era, who usually looks out for him. She always tries to help him in his studies, but Jung Ho is so dumb that he can't even perform basic mathematics. Shortly after, the karate champion of the school, Kevin, enters the class. He is 30 minutes late, but no one speaks a word. Everyone appears to be scared of him, even the teacher, Mr. Kim. And with a name like Kevin, who wouldn't be terrified? Before settling into his seat, Kevin smacks a few bullies in the head, but they can do nothing but take it, like men. During recess, Jung Ho is on the rooftop with a couple of bullies who demand that he provide them with his pocket money. Unfortunately, when Jung Ho mentions that he forgot to bring cash, they beat him up mercilessly and threaten him to bring double the amount the next day. After they leave, a distraught Jung Ho climbs up on the ledge of the building and prepares to commit the unthinkable. He apologizes to his parents one last time and takes a leave. Fortunately, his landing is cushioned by a bunch of electric appliances, but he gets zapped in the process as he writhes in pain because of the electricity surging through his brain. He narrates that he survived due to the heavy head that his friends always mock him for. After school, as Jung Ho is heading home with Era, he asks her if he has any good qualities. Era jokingly says that he has a heavy head, which saved him from an untimely death. As expected, this doesn't sit well with Jung Ho, and he once again asks her if he is good at anything. This time, Era becomes serious and responds that he is one of the kindest, sweetest, and most caring people that she has ever met. She also calls him her BFF. Realizing that he is in the friend zone, Jung Ho returns to the ledge. Just kidding. As the two continue their conversation, they suddenly notice that a man has fainted on the ground. Wasting no time, Jung Ho rushes over to the man and performs a mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to revive him. Surprisingly, as soon as he does so, his eyes turn blue and the computer screen is displayed inside his brain. In the screen, he has the option to download the person's memories and save them in his brain. Although Jung Ho is still unaware of what's going on, he subconsciously chooses an option which says English language. The next day at school, Mr. Kim once again picks on the weakest student in class, Jung Ho, and makes him stand to recite his day in English. All the students are eager to hear his answer as they can't get enough of bullying him. However, to everyone's surprise, Jung Ho speaks fluent English as if he's a native. He himself is equally confused, as he doesn't know where or how he learned English. He's probably been watching Mystery Recap as he goes to bed. Later, while Jung Ho is recalling his previous day, he suddenly remembers the incident where a computer screen popped up in his brain and allowed him to extract memories from the unconscious man. With this, he deduces that if he kisses someone, he can transfer their memories and skills into his brain, like some sort of perverted Neo. Just then, the bullies approach him and order him to come to the rooftop. They also threaten him to bring the money, or else there will be dire consequences. After they leave, Jung Ho becomes scared, because he once again doesn't have any cash on him. He heads to the bathroom and tries to think of a way to escape, but because of his useless brain, gets no ideas. Meanwhile, the karate champion enters the bathroom and goes inside one of the stalls. Seeing him, an idea finally strikes Jung Ho's mind. He heads over to the stall, kicks it open, and kisses the karate champion passionately. Once again, his eyes turn blue, and inside his brain, he gets the option to download a skill. He chooses the fighting option and saves it in his brain. But sadly, before he can leave the stall, the enraged karate champion knocks him over with a brutal shot. Later, a nervous Jung Ho reaches the rooftop and confronts his bullies. As usual, they try to intimidate him with their puny karate moves. But this time, Jung Ho doesn't back down. Instead, he demonstrates his own moves, inherited from the karate champion, and dishes out a brutal punishment on the bullies. He beats them left, right, and center, and knocks them to the ground effortlessly. After teaching them a lesson, Jung Ho leaves for class, but not before telling the bullies to return all his money the next day. In the following scene, Jung Ho catches up with his best friend, Era, and the two spend some quality time together. They go through several of their pictures and reminisce about their past. Just then, Era mentions that she has been accepted 
accepted into a top college. This makes Jung Ho sad, as not only is he going to be separated from his best friend, but he will also be forced to study at an average college. However, when Jung Ho realizes that he possesses a special power, his mood swiftly changes. He could make out with Era and tell her it's just for her skills, but he immediately heads to the library, where all the school toppers are studying, and kisses them one by one. In this way, he downloads the intelligence of each of the toppers and becomes an alpha genius student. He also probably gets himself put on some watch lists. As time passes by, Jung Ho starts getting near perfect marks on his tests and becomes the envy of everyone. He even excels in all kinds of sports, making him the most popular kid in school. Although he has many admirers, he also has made a lot of enemies. Most of them are the ones who he kissed and stole the skills from. Cut to a few years later, Jung Ho has now become a top businessman in the city. He has reached this level by using his ability to the fullest. Whenever he sees an interesting person, he kisses them and downloads their memory. One day, he heads to the parking lot and secretly punctures an expensive car's tire. After a while, the owner of the car, a wealthy businesswoman named Hira, arrives and gets upset as she is already late for a meeting. Taking this as the perfect opportunity, Jung Ho approaches her and charms her by fixing her car. He then takes her out on a date and he gets her massively drunk. Here, we get to know that Hira is one of Jung Ho's top rivals, so he wants to extract her business strategy. After a while, when the two get ready to depart, Jung Ho suddenly kisses her. He taps into her memories and tries to download some confidential intel, but surprisingly, the storage inside his brain becomes full. The screen constantly shows an alert, which warns Jung Ho to clear some memories before proceeding to download new ones. Without thinking twice, he opens a random folder and deletes it. The folder turns out to be the accumulation of all the memories he has experienced with his now girlfriend, Era. Meanwhile, as Jung Ho and Hira are still kissing, Era arrives and catches them red-handed. Expectedly, she becomes distraught at the sight of him cheating on her. As she runs away crying, Jung Ho follows her and tries to make her understand that he was simply trying to improve his business, but she does not listen. Shortly after, he finally catches up on her and rudely tells her to stop crying. Since his memories with Era have been deleted, he has no feelings for her anymore. Now he has become a cold-hearted and egotistical person. He threatens Era to stop crying, or else he will leave her forever. Hearing this from the love of her life, Era gets even more devastated, so she decides to break up with him. As she walks away, an enraged Jung Ho shouts that his life will be better off without her, as he is rich, handsome, and intelligent. He's also a cock. Following the incident, the two stop talking and become distant from one another. While Era still misses her ex-boyfriend, Jung Ho has become even more self-centered and could care less about anyone. One day, while he is practicing golf inside his office, Era suddenly arrives at his doorstep with her luggage and reveals that she is traveling abroad to pursue her higher education. She had expected him to apologize to her and show the affection she always desired from him. But to her dismay, Jung Ho is still cold and impudent. He simply tells her to have a safe journey without even looking into her eyes. Having had enough of his mean behavior, Era devises a plan. She knows everything about Jung Ho's special ability, so she decides to use it in her favor. At first, she approaches him from behind and embraces him. When Jung Ho turns around in disbelief, she grabs his face and kisses him passionately. Although Jung Ho doesn't want to select any memories from his ex-girlfriend, his brain subconsciously downloads one, which contains all the moments the duo experienced in their lifetime. After Era leaves, Jung Ho starts having flashbacks of the memories. He starts seeing the happy moments he had with Era during their high school days, and also the day they abruptly broke up. Because of this, he realizes his mistake and acknowledges that she is the most important person in his life. In the next scene, Jung Ho leaves his office and rushes to stop Era from reaching the airport. After a bit of running, he finds her crossing the street and shouts his desire to have her back. As Era listens in awe, Jung Ho apologizes for being rude and insensitive, and also mentions that he will treat her like a princess from this day forward. Saying this much, he tries to cross the street and get to her without looking at the traffic, and ends up getting hit by a car. The collision knocks him to the ground, and he hits his head hard. Fortunately, his heavy head once again saves him, and Jung Ho gets up from the road. He then approaches Era and embraces her tightly, vowing to never hurt her again. Just then, the computer inside his brain starts malfunctioning. He tries to shake it off, but soon the screen goes black, and he 
drops unconscious. A devastated Era tries her best to wake him up, but to no avail. In the final scene, Era leads a now wheelchair-ridden Jung Ho to their school and shows him around. It turns out that after the computer inside his brain stopped working, he lost all his memory, and now he remembers nothing. Era takes him to the basketball court and mentions that it is the place where they first met. It was a rainy day, and she was completely soaked in rain. But out of nowhere, Jung Ho approached her and offered his umbrella. He didn't care about getting wet himself, because helping others always made him smile. His selflessness was the best trait about him, and though he was always bullied, his smile always remained intact. As Jung Ho hears the story, he softly smiles, as if he remembers the memories. But we know that he doesn't, because he's a vegetable now. The movie ends as Era tells Jung Ho, memories are not what you steal from others, but what you experience in your own lifetime. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.